Hello and welcome to this section of the MATLAB Tutor where we're going to learn how to multiply matrices together. And when I say multiply matrices, I'm talking about the mathematical definition that you learn by hand when you're taking algebra or linear algebra. So uh, actually doing the act of multiplying is pretty easy in MATLAB. I'm just going to show you a couple of gotchas along the way. So let's define matrix 1. Let's just make it really easy. 1 space, let me put a bracket here, 1 space 2 semicolon 3 space 4. So this is matrix number 1. So it's a 2 by 2 matrix. And let's do matrix 2. And let's also make it a 2 by 2 matrix. 5 space 5. Uh, and then we'll do 6, 6. Like this. So that's my matrix 2. Now notice that these are both 2 by 2 matrices. So it's kind of a simplified example. But the bottom line is the only way you can multiply these things mathematically if I'm taking matrix 1 times matrix 2 is the number of columns in matrix one, in this case I have two columns, has to equal the number of rows in the second matrix. So here I have two columns there and I have two rows here, so I should be able to multiply these two together. Matrix one times matrix two. And MATLAB does the heavy lifting and calculates everything. Now, the way you do it by hand is something we all end up having to learn. Basically you're taking this guy times five uh, there and then you're taking 2 times 6 is 12, and then 12 plus 5 is 17, so there's the first element there. And then you have to go and do it for the next element, and the next element, and the next element. What you're doing, if you can envision a matrix here, and then the matrix next to it, is you're going across and then down, across and then down, across and then down, and you're uh, multiplying elements and summing them all together each time you do that. So it's a little bit cumbersome by hand. For a 2x2 two two matrix, it's not a big deal, but if this were like a 10x10 you know, 10 10 matrix and then a 10, another 10x10 10 10 matrix, you know, that would take a long time for you to do by hand. But the number of columns of the first matrix has to equal the number of rows of the second guy here. So let me change uh, matrix 2 from what it currently is to something else. So we'll do 1 space 9 space negative 2 space 4. And then we'll do a semicolon, 1, 1, 1, 0, something like this. So now matrix 2 is a little different. So let me put them right next to each other, matrix 2. Okay, do you think we're going to be able to multiply these guys together? Well, the way you figure it out is the number of columns in the first matrix must equal the number of columns in, this, in the rows in the second matrix. So we should be able to do this guy here, matrix 1, multiply by matrix 2. Okay, and we are able to get that answer. Now let me show you something that you may not realize. Matrix 2 times matrix 1. Let's see what happens. We get an error. So we multiply matrix 1 times matrix 2 and it works fine, but when we do the reverse it doesn't work. Mat inner matrix dimensions must agree. Anytime you see a message that talks about matrix dimensions, it means that it's not mathematically possible for you to multiply them in this direction. You see, we learn multiplication 3 times 4 is the same as 4 times 3, but in matrices, the reverse multiplication is almost never the same. Uh, and in this case, it's not only not the same, it's impossible to multiply them backwards. The reason is, let me, instead of writing it the way I did before, let me put matrix 2 first and then put matrix 1 second. So the columns of the first matrix must be equal to the rows of the second matrix. Here I have four columns and then I only have two rows. So if I try to multiply across and then down, I'm going to run out of numbers here and I'm not going to be able to complete the multiplication, so it's impossible to do. So keep that in mind. When you're multiplying matrices, you know, this is something that you'll kind of run into as you just construct your own problems and figure it all out for yourself. But if you ever get an error with dimensions, it just means that MATLAB's having a hard time doing the multiplication because what you've asked it to do is not possible, right? Okay, so uh, keep that in mind. Now, of course, we can do this matrix multiplication. Let's clear the screen. Matrix 1 times matrix 2. We've already done that. We can retrieve that calculation and we can, we can uh, you know, mix some additional things in there. We can do that multiplication and then we can multiply the result by a number, right? So now we're just doing the matrix multiplication. Whatever result we get, we're basically multiplying by a number. You know, we can do that and then we could subtract, you know, two off of the end. And when we do that, we're basically subtracting element by element. We're subtracting two. See, this is what we got this calculation here, matrix 1 times matrix 2 times 2, yields this guy right here. So when we just subtract 2, MATLAB's going to try to do it element by element, and so there you go. Every element is subtracted down by 2. So 
That's how you multiply matrices in the mathematical sense. When you just put the regular multiplication symbol between two matrices, MATLAB's going to multiply them in the normal way. You just have to make sure that the dimensions are right, and if they're not right, MATLAB's going to tell you about it. So if you ever actually get an answer, you know that everything was okay with the way you set everything up. And uh, if you ever need to go in to edit either of these matrices, like if these are really large matrices, you always have the option of going into the matrix editor and making changes, uh, or the variable editor, uh, and making changes over here as we've done in the past. Uh, I'm Jason with MathTutorDVD.com. Make sure you understand how to multiply matrices. Follow me on to the next section where we'll continue working uh, with matrices in MATLAB.